Hey everyone, today we're going to explore some tips that will make using formula fields even more exciting and useful for your projects. Let's get started. Use the formula field result to automate tasks. Did you know that the result of a formula field can be used to automate processes in NoCoDB? Well, let me show you a practical example. In this interactions table, I've got a date field that tracks the date of each interaction. Now let's say the company policy requires a follow-up call exactly seven days after the initial contact. Now you're not going to manually calculate those dates every time, are you? Of course not. So let's make a new formula field. Name it follow up date. And I'm going to use the date add function to automatically add seven days to the date field. Just like that. And we've created a dynamic follow up schedule. Now let's create a new calendar view. Name it follow up schedule organized by the newly created formula field click create and voila you've got a ready to use calendar for follow-up calls note that since these dates are formula driven they'll be read only which means you won't be able to drag records around like in a regular calendar view but that's actually a good thing because it keeps everything consistent and accurate. Formula aggregation types change based on your result. Here's something even more intuitive. The aggregation types you can apply to a formula field depend on the type of the result your formula generates. Sounds obvious, but it's a feature that often goes unnoticed. For instance, if your formula field returns a number like this, then NoCoDB gives you numeric aggregation types like sum, average or maximum. But if your result is a date, the aggregation options will change. You will have date-based aggregation types like earliest and latest. NoCoDB is smart enough to recognize the data type and present the most relevant aggregation options for you so you always have the right tools at your fingertips. So those are just a couple of awesome things you might not have known about the formula fields in NoCoDB. Let me know in the comments what other hidden features of NoCoDB you want to learn about. Thanks for watching.